Yeah. So I'm watching the NFL yesterday in the pregame show because that's what I do, you know. And I'm seeing Sean Payton. They come up here. They're talking to Sean Payton, and then all of a sudden, the Cleveland Browns come on. And they're talking about they hired a coach, and Sean Payton basically just laughed. He was like, "This is what they do." It was weird seeing a professional head coach. He was like talking about the Browns like a fan. He's like, "They do this every year because they never get it right." Jimmy Haslam, these are your peers. They're clowning you. They're just laughing at you. No wonder. Hey, the minute you came in there with that asinine thing, with you got a guy with six Super Bowls, right? Think about this, Haslam. You have a guy with six Super Bowls, and you want him to meet with Paul Depot. Why the fuck is Depot Testa? Why? 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 Hey, if I had your money... I would have hired Josh McDaniels and said, do whatever you want with it. Run the fucking thing. That's what I would have done. Why the fuck do you have to be any part of this? You already fucked it up for eight or nine fucking years. What the fuck is wrong with you? You are a moron. So in other words, you get Stefanski because obviously he agreed to uh, bring a little game plan. See, they have to bring a game plan to the Paul D. Test and Jimmy Haslam the Friday before the game. So guys that don't know about football, right? Haslam knows nothing. D. Podesta, you know about baseball. So they can go over it. What the fuck? Is this a joke? It's a fucking joke. I don't get it. I do not fucking get it and I'm fucking disgusted now Stefanski may be the right guy but he's just a puppet Josh McDaniels said he won't do that so you didn't hire him now if he would have done that he, you know what if he would have done that you would have hired him Jimmy Haslam you are a fucking moron you took a guy with six so he wanted to do it the Patriot way but you need him to report to you you should have let him have full control do it the Patriot way you fucking moron obviously it works you fucking idiot there's a reason nobody wants your job. There's a reason everybody laughs at you. I mean, I had a, a, a Super Bowl winning coach basically laughing at you. Now, a lot of people are saying Stefanski, Rex Ryan raved about him. He's talking about being a great hire. That might be. But you let a guy with six Super Bowls that wanted to do it the Patriot way leave because Paul D. Potesta talked you into it, manipulated you into it, saying, well, they got to bring their game plan to me, Jimmy. I need to be able to foresee it with my analytics. Analytics, I need to be able to... You are a fucking clown. And there's a reason the Cleveland Browns are one of the fucking pathetic organization ever. I hope to God it works because this team... It's a shame to see a team was loaded. I mean, loaded with talent. Just suck. Because the ownership can't get it fucking right. Can't get it right. And if John Dorsey wasn't such a fucking moron asshole, if he wasn't such a fucking insecure little bitch, he would have hired a fucking... He would have hired McCarthy last year. He would have hired somebody that could actually coach an NFL game, and he wouldn't worry about being fired if that coach wanted them gone, you fucking idiot. So John Dorsey's a fucking idiot too. But I would have kept him over Depot Podesta. You should have just told Dorsey, look, we're firing Kitchens. It's your game now. Depot Podesta's gone. Guy with six Super Bowl rings wanted the job. Now he is arrogant looking motherfucker. I grant, grant, Josh McCown's arrogant, or McDaniel's an arrogant motherfucker, but guess what? He's got cachet. He's got six Super Bowls that will tell um, Money Man, Moneyball guy, how to fucking do the NFL. What did Moneyball do? He took a bunch of underpaid guys in baseball and he went to a, um, a divisional playoff and lost. What has he done? Nothing. But Josh McCown, or Josh McDaniels, I don't know why he's in McCown. Josh McDaniels won six Super Bowls. So if he wants to do it the Patriot way, the right way, you do it that way. But no, you want to play around with Moneyball, you fucking imbecile. We already seen this blow up in our faces before. So let's just recap what I just said here. Josh McDaniels, who has six Super Bowl rings, wanted to do it the Patriot way. And Jimmy Haslam and Paul D. Potesta wanted him to report to him with this game plan so they can have a meeting every Friday analytics yeah okay analytics don't win football games you moron it tells you the percentages of fourth and three to go for it but it don't win football games football coaching and players win football games oh and one more thing about Baker Mayfield Baker I'd have an open competition this year I'm tired of Baker Mayfield I'm tired of seeing all these other guys dominate the NFL and Baker's just a fucking little midget fucking 
Once a hey, maker, you still think you're in fucking high school. Drop the fucking tough guy in high school act. You're a fucking little bitch. Play the fucking game. And see, here's the thing about Baker. I know he can play. But he needs to lose that me against the world. High school. I mean, you ain't in high school no more, son. You're in the professionals. Act like it. And actually perform like it, you fucking little bitch. Anyway, another rough day in Berea. Another. Uh, Stefanski may be good. I happen to think he will be. But I don't know why he has to bring his fucking goddamn game plan to, to De Podesta. De Podesta is nothing. He ain't no football guy. He's a fucking clown. So he made a trade that got Nick Chubb. Who gives a flying fuck? Maybe he could make a trade to get fucking Derrick Henry, you fucking moron. That's De Podesta's uh, great fucking thing. He made a trade to get Nick Chubb. Great. Nick Chubb's the best back in the game. Him and Derrick Henry. Henry may be better. I don't know. But Nick Chubb's is, is good. At, hey, I'll tell you one thing. Nick Chubb's better than Saquon Barkley. And that's a fact. But Derrick Henry is a beast. But Jimmy Haslam, the NFL should force you to sell the fucking Browns because you are a fucking joke. It's funny how Deep Podesta puts you on fucking strings, you fucking southern fucking leather. You look, hey, Jimmy Haslam looks like a fucking leather jacket with eyes. Look at his face. Well, I'll tell you, I, I got a fucking, uh, I got a lot of confidence. I got a lot of confidence in this guy. Uh, he uh, went to the divisional playoffs uh, in uh, baseball and got swept. <laughs> you want to say, the A's won 20 some games. The Indians beat it. So it wasn't Moneyball that beat it. Moneyball didn't beat it. Baseball players beat it. De Podesta is a fucking idiot. So he wanted McDermott. I wouldn't want McDermott right now. What's McDermott done? He got a fucking, he got a good defense. He might be a good coach, but Josh Allen ain't playing. Uh, Josh Allen's underperforming. And he didn't want Hugh Jackson. Well, I could have told you no one wanted Hugh Jackson. He wanted Stefanski. Jimmy, it's my turn, Jimmy. It's my turn, Jimmy. Let me ask you something. Are you and Depot Podesta sleeping together or something? Does he have some dirt on you? Why do you keep him around, fucking asshole?